Hey yo everybody, this is your boy Gigi Spoto and talking about Lone Star male feeders ahead of 2023 African Cup of Nations. Uh, if you look at Liberia, the last time we played at the African Cup of Nations was back in 2002 when the Joshua had the opening up against Mali. Uh, Liberia been hoping that uh, the national team will return to African glory. Uh, we tried serious projects to get back, uh, but um, all those projects failed. Uh, currently, the uh, Liberia we rank forty two, so we are going straight into the group stage qualification. Uh, that's positive for Liberia. But what is the major problem of the national team of Liberia? What do we need to work on? What we need in order for us to get to? African Cup of Nations in 2023. Uh, when you look across Africa right now, you see small countries, Gambia, Corobos, they are performing Sierra Leone and made it to the Nations Cup. Uh, what would it take Liberia to get to the Nations Cup? Uh, one of the, 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 the department, we have enough players. We are not thinking about looking for more players. It is the midfielder uh, department of the national team after the legs of Kevin, same with Otto Marco, Christopher Blair. James Diva, uh, all these guys left. Uh, we've been blessed with amazing male feeders. And currently for the upcoming Nations Cup qualification, six games, uh, we can boast of some of the male feeders we can use in six games. Uh, we got the man said, Brian Samura, David Twer, Justin, uh, Allen. Uh, you know, as you all know, Allen started as a Excellent defensive midfielder. When Samora came in, the set came in, the coach uh, started Allen from the bench. Uh, but I think there is something more positive about Allen we can use uh, in the 11 with set Samora Justin. We can use four midfielders in, 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 in the starting 11. Uh, if we want to play set and Samora, in a male field, a balanced male field on a, on a balanced line, playing uh, maybe set as passing male field and some defensive male field. How can we use Allen? We can use Allen, create an excellent, excellent position for Allen to play Allen from left attack because Allen is a left footer. He can play from left attack. Uh, if we get any problem in the middle, he can drop back in the middle. He's very good with um, amazing energy, great offensive ability. So we can benefit a lot from Allen if we are not playing him as a regular, regular, regular defensive midfielder. So defensively and passing midfielder, Liberia do not really have problem in that department. But one of the departments we will be talking about that uh, we need to pay keen attention to, we need to really focus if uh, we will get to the African Cup of Nations in 2023, we need to look at our goalkeepers. So if you're looking at first and second choice goalkeeper currently that Liberia been using recently, we've been using Tommy Sango. Uh, yeah, we've been using Tommy Sango. Tommy, Tommy, uh, Tommy Sango. We've been using Tommy Sango as one of the go, uh, goalkeepers. Ashley Williams, Ashley Williams, uh, Ashley Williams. Guys, I'm just trying to to put something here. Yeah, just trying to put something right here. Okay. I was correcting Tommy, Tommy Sango name, right? Uh, when you look at Tommy Sango, Ashley Williams, uh, they they have some level of experience when it comes to African football. Ashley Williams, he played in Sierra Leone, a big, big, massive game when he saved that penalty. Massive boost for him as confidence. But uh, when he look at, if you look at our past six games in during the World Cup qualification, we saw errors, errors, error, error over error, right? Uh, we brought Ashley Williams, started him. We saw mistakes. Uh, his game dropped. We brought Tommy Sango again. Uh, he did his part in the show. Uh, we brought in this goalkeeper Bando Bossian or a Bossy from Romania and we struggle with him two classical mistakes so if we want to get to the 2023 Nations Cup we need to define the role of the goalkeeper we need to look for the qualities of one for our goalkeepers so if we can look at look 
in the Liberian League, we cannot find a goalkeeper. We look in Africa, we can find no Liberian goalkeeper playing in any of the African countries. We need to still come back to Europe and search which Liberian goalkeeper we can bring in to increase uh, the competition in the goalkeeping department. Do we have to, Liberia need to talk to Louis Scriton? Can Louis Scriton help? Uh, have a conversation with our goalkeepers. Can Louis Criton Mora help? Anthony Topa was one of the best Liberian goalkeeper. Can we bring him in to help develop our goalkeepers? Uh, can we bring him around a national team? Recently, saw Natalia Shemon uh, taking the place of Sonny C. Uh, how can we make Lone Star better? So I will try my best to talk to Natalia Shemo uh, very anytime soon to bring it on here. Let us discuss it for the national team of Liberia. I'm still pushing to get Coach Peter Butler to see if. Uh, let's go to this comment. Riches are good. Looking at our scrap of Musa Sano, Sam Johnson, Ayuba Alu. Yeah, we'll talk about the scrap later on today. Uh, somebody's Ruben. Ruben Jacob said, I'm watching for Liberia. Thanks for watching, brother. Peace and blessing be unto you. <clears throat> but we're looking at the goalkeepers. If you look at the Liberian League right now, uh, it's hard to pick up a goalkeeper from the Liberian League that can come to the national team with some level of stability. Uh, when you look at the, uh, the goalkeeper from Nima County, Terrence Colley, the, the Terrence Colley is something like that got from Nima County. He's a go the goalkeeper, but you can play him in the national team. He will not keep that performance in the national team because a whole nother level uh, we need to play him in the honor 23 and let's see how he could before we can bring him to the national team we need to avoid try and error in this upcoming african cup of nations qualifier if liberia really want to get to the nation's cup we need to avoid try and error mentor we need to avoid try and error try and error liberia need to avoid try and error we need to avoid we cannot go play the nation's cup qualifications uh, and say let us try but maybe tommy will do good or maybe ashley williams what happened ashley will not performance drop uh, ashley will not move to a team in spain okay and, and as an african goalkeeper it's difficult for, for you to break through the european system so it is a good idea for you to stay in spain if you want to continue it doesn't if you don't want to continue his career uh, you don't want to push harder. Can you go back to Liberia and play in the league, get back to the national team, play more games in the night with the national team, be, maintain a first slot, more countries can see, and then he can bounce back. Or he continue playing speed, continue developing, maybe four or five years, then you can break. True, currently he's not playing in that club uh, first team. He's been playing in their second, the second reserve reserve games and stuff like that that's good but actually williams could be the first choice if things just pick up for him he can get more game time he can be more attentive he can regain uh his 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 performance he had in Sierra Leone in liberia you know he's an amazing goalkeeper right uh, a lot of defenders feel comfortable playing with him one of the goalkeepers that have the opportunity to steal the, the whole long style starting slot is Tommy Sango, he plays regularly for Lescar FC. All he need to do is to convince the local coaches in Liberia by his performance because people are watching the local league. And some of the teams are scoring on Lescar should not be scoring on Lescar. Some of the goals Lescar they are conceding should, they should not be conceding those kind of goals. So if Tommy can just step up a game in the Liberian League, definitely so the coaches will go in because his their height is there. Yes, you can take it for him. A beautiful high. He just need a little bit, little bit, little bit, little bit of attentiveness and just to be attentive in the game. Uh, I think he can make it. But goalkeeper is one of the major problems Liberia need to fix right now. Either Coach Peter Butler need to start talking to Tommy Sango. Natalia Shemon need to start talking with Tommy Sango. Giving him some tips, the coach need to tell Tommy Natalia Shema what he wants from the goalkeeper, and Natalia Shema start working with Tommy Sango because Tommy Sango is the closest goalkeeper with their spirits now that we can play in the national team. Go if Ashley Widow is not there, that's just the honest truth about it, right? 
let's go to the comment section here we go which we have to naturalize goalkeeper if we can negotiate yeah it's sometimes it's possible okay the goalkeeper coaches here i'm at your time we can talk about solution and way forward okay Nathaniel shemo is here he's the national team goalkeeper that amazing amazing uh what we need to do is that we let's see if we can bring Nathaniel shemo on uh if we can bring Nathan Shema on, that's excellent, excellent. Uh, because this national team is about us getting, getting, getting to the nation's cup. I don't know how some people feel, but I think for me, Liberian football, we need to get to the nation's cup. We just need a little bit of correction here and there. And let's see uh, what we can do. So since Nathan Shema is here, I will send him the link. If it's possible for him to come on, uh, then he will come on. If it's not, then we would arrange a special invitation for him uh, to come on. So, okay. So now I have the, let me find, I need to open, guys, I need to open my Facebook. Yes, I need to open my Facebook and see if I can get that tiny shimmer. Now the man say, like what you say, no goalkeeper. We, the goalkeepers are there, but... That dependable goalkeeper that when we put you in the goal, we know that we have some level of confidence uh, beyond the, if beyond the defenders if mistakes. Because if you watch the national team play, we, we, we allow a lot of long balls, right? And we need goalkeepers that can come out of the goal that cannot play on the line. Uh, one of the things I think, I think Coach Peter never really explained. I don't know if Coach Peter... Uh, during his coaching course, I don't know if he pick up some goalkeeper education, which is very important for the coach to have some goalkeeper education. Uh, when you play three in the back, the goalkeeper becomes the sweeper. So he cannot play on the goal line. He needs to be out. If you watch Sevelin play uh, in their first game, you saw Kamara, the goalkeeper, coming up. I think he had it like four or five balls. Why? Because Although they play with four in the back, but the system with Cameroon, they are goalkeepers play as a sweeper. Because my friend play, you know, my friend play in several in national team, Mohamed Bouya. So a little bit. So he said the goalkeeper coming up. So I think that one of the errors that like our goalkeepers can already do, they can already play off the line, playing close. They need to play uh, uh, beyond the line. We get somebody watching all the way from Banga. We need to go out to talk to. Yes, yeah, so let me get my headphone. Okay, my phone is here. Let me see if I can send this link to Shaman. Uh, let me see, Shaman. Let me see, Shaman, Shaman, Shaman. Yeah, yeah. Let me see if I can send a link to Shaman. I just need to get my headphone, guys. I'll be back. My headphone is in the other room. Yeah, I needed to get my headphone. Yeah, because with this headphone, I can. Uh, today I didn't go. I didn't go out today. I've been home today because because my daughter stay home from school, so I had to stay home with her. So let me find Nathaniel Sherman. Nathaniel Sherman. Yeah. Let me see. Okay, the man Natan Shema. We want to send Natan Shema the link for him to join us. To join us. Uh, but let me put the link right here. Uh, let me see. Yeah. So anybody uh watching the Nathaniel, when you see there will be a post. I've just pasted something. That is the link if you want to join the show, Nathaniel Shema. Only Nathaniel Shema we will be bringing on today. So let me see. No, thanks. Let me see. I show ambassador. I call it AMB. Yeah. Okay. 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 Let's send the link to him. Very beautiful. We just sent the link to Sherman. We just sent the link to Shema. So let's go back to the goalkeeper situation we've been talking about. So that is it. You know, we need to work on a goalkeeper. We got Nathan Shema. His passion is high. Very, very passionate about Liberian football. And he's in the, with the national team. So we expect a lot of uh, 
something new in the upcoming Nations Cup. Glad that they already know that we we have we we are facing a goalkeeper problem. Uh, okay, somebody's watching from seventy second. Yes, seventy second community. We got somebody watching from Algeria. That's good. But guys, the best thing you can do is just help me share this video. At least if we can hit one hundred shares, that would be so so great. Every time you share the video, one share. Okay, we get a man, Nathaniel Shemo is here. Yeah, the big man, Nations One. What's up, my man? <laughs> Thank God, you. Yeah, uh, for the topic already. We looking at entering the group of the department ahead of our Nations Cup qualification. Uh, you've been with the national team and you as a trainer. What's your own expectation from the local groups and the international group? What will you be looking for? The stands right now. You know, I just got to the team, and then it's kind of you know, I think uh, we have a lot of work to do. After the first couple of issues, and I think one of the major issues is a fundamental problem. You know, a lot of the goalkeepers in Liberia don't go through the regular goalkeeping fundamental. A lot of like myself, I start all by myself doing it by myself. And then they get me at the top level to be first in the show. So it's going to the national team. You find them making simple mistakes. As you have been for that like 10 years, you know, 10 or 5 years back. So when you go to that, you can never be a problem. But again, given that we identify the problem, something is this, something is this. So since I got there, my first two or three sessions with them, I spoke to the coach. And I wanted to know where he wanted to take the team, what are his direction, what he wanted to achieve. Mm -hmm. So based on that, I had a separate conversation with each other. Yes, what I wanted to achieve in the team, what I wanted to achieve in the team. I didn't think about it. And I think that uh, in the first game, he said there were a couple of errors. And I think that was some late time. In the but again, something we can face with the team and play with. I think uh, there's a lot of us that here, but there's a lot of us. I'm a writer, I share a lot of people with me. So something I think maybe you can find one of us. I'm trying to get a writer, somebody that you can depend on the people. If, if, uh, we have to go with a local goalkeeper from the Liberian League. Uh, as we said, the goalkeepers are not. We missed our education, our fundamental development in the development stage. We missed it. And we play against a lot of scrapers from Europe, clever scrapers that are playing high profile leagues. Uh, but the Nations Cup is here. It's very close. One year from now, it's not far away. What uh, in the local league? Are we going to see you bringing in new goalkeepers? I mean, identify, are you identify any extra talent outside Tommy Sango? I think Modric, the guy from Barrow. Malik. Yeah, Malik. Any other Malik. talent, young coming up talent in the league that would think he can bring something to the team, some kind of level of competition? Yeah, I've seen a couple of guys. Been outstanding. But again, I think making it to the national team has to do with performances and stats. The start you have to show exactly that you need to go out. And as I said, in the last month, there have been horrible mistakes from what you call them, and you need to bring that on. And I spoke to some of them, they kind of saying about that game, those that are in the something we need to work up. I also had a plan for, for potential goalkeeper that we believe we can use on the senior national team, seven or eight of them that I can run. Extra training with doing the close of the week before the next week we start to train. So uh, right now as a stand, I think it's an open space for the senior national team. The guys are not going for a world, they need to step up the game. If you want to play at that level, you need to do something extra to get something extra. Yeah. If you look at Lone Star play uh, against Congo, I think Congo, Tunisia, we 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 see we uh, can see some goals, long balls against Congo. I mean, Cape Verde, late goals. 
uh, ahead of the Nations Cup. I know you came in, you guys did excellent. We can't take it from, from Sunday Sea Town to you to Coach Butler. We can't take it from nobody. You guys did well at Liberia. Now can skip preliminary rounds and go straight in the group. So something that we need to try to keep for the next year to come. But what's your own expectation ahead of the qualifier? Uh, for me, I believe we go into the Nations Cup if we put everything together. Uh, what's your own belief, your own position and about the qualification coming up? It's something we can do, but it has to do with the mentality. We have to set our goal. We have to know exactly what we want to achieve before the start of the tournament. We don't have to get into the tournament and want to make a decision within the tournament. Set our goal, match it with sense and dollars, and we make sure we get the best available right talent that we can put into the team that can deliver. We need to make the playoffs and what it takes to wear the national team jersey. We need to make them honest and what it takes to come to the place to represent the country. You have to give it your best, you have to give it your all. Even if you lose it, you can lose it fast, and people can see that you make a lot of effort. So I think uh, the future looks bright for our current team, but it's something we can still work around. We can add a few more experience to that team. And I'm very sure we can make it to the 2023 in our Yeah, you you the national team goalkeeper trainer right now. Uh, without talking about Terrence, I'm not Terry, Terry Colley. Come in, in the national team because I know that he's a good goalkeeper, he's not there yet, but uh, when you look at his performance, picking up best goalkeeper in the league, picking up best goalkeeper in the county, I mean, how do, can we place him? How we his distance? You think what are some of the things he need to do if one day he want to continue to get a chance with the Toronto Toronto TV home business, you know, thing, or maybe get a quarter? What do you think he need to do or all, that other all young keepers can learn from him? I've been following him very closely, and I spoke to him. I think for the semi final game in, in the county meet. We had a short conversation. We've been outstanding in the district. Last year, they won the, the championship for the second division. But again, uh, it's a whole different ball game at the senior national team level. What you think uh, in the country, in the national team. Somebody hitting the ball at senior national team level is very professional. It's a different technique compared to somebody playing our national team. But I think for him right now, he can better fit in maybe. The honor 20, honor 23, he need to have some game time, some international experience. Because if for any reason you jump into the senior national team and put in a game and he fumble, you don't know his capacity to recover. That machine, they my hand to react. If you check in our history, I think a couple of players were had just the first team and that was the last team. And it's, you know, everything boils down to the way we manage it and the way we manage it each of the players. We have to deal with the manager and do it very well to be the situation. He cannot have the player. Yes, he's good, but I think he got like five years ahead of him. So he can be yeah, that was so beautiful talking to the man, Tommy San Ave, Tommy Covid, Tommy Sango. <laughs> And not trying to share all over there, but thanks for making time to be here. You know, I appreciate you guys. I usually put your time, your data, and energy to follow. Uh, we'll continue on the show. So we'll say goodbye to you. Have a nice day down there. And then we'll see in December, my man. I'll show you if you have a key on my chamon. I'll give it up. Yeah, thank you, man. Uh, that was the man and Nathaniel Shemon. Nathaniel Shemon. Uh, he was talking about the national team goalkeeper talking about Terran, Terran Colley. They need to develop, he need to work. And, and we're looking at a chance of going to the Nations Cup. I think we we are getting closer to this goal. We've been working for 19 years. It's getting closer, it's getting closer, it's getting brighter. Uh, if you look at the Liberian League, a lot of development in the league. Yep. And you look at how the teams play, uh, you look at uh, how the players construct the games. Uh, so we get in there. I show if we keep trying, keep working, keep working, keep learning from our mistakes, and we need to feel faster and learn faster, you know. Uh, then we can get there. Uh, some other issue that uh, we need to consider when bringing goalkeepers into the national team is height. It's height. It's key. It's very hard to see a very short goalkeeper in Europe. Very hard. If he's short, then he's extraordinary, exceptional. A height, confidence, uh, 
We want to bring, like Shemo said, you know, players, some players come in and play one time, we don't see them again. Yeah. It's, it's come over the national team. How can we erase that? Is by bringing in players with the quality to compete. So if you come in as a winger, if you come in as a goalkeeper, come and compete and then maintain your space, you know. So that was a little bit about no stack goalkeeping department. We were blessed today to have man. That time of shame he said the national team and uh, I got to have it go hard. Another path for him in life to be a, you know, seven, you know, his, uh, something tried to happen and, Today, he's saving the national team. It's the most important thing to give back to Nathan and Shimon. And they made history. You know, if you write national team history, you can take it from them. You can take it from Coach Butler, right? Until <laughs> that coach let TD the bad thing. But, you know, the man helped Liberia to get to the preliminary round. That's the coach. And to escape preliminary round is a strong message that the Liberian FA may keep him. Yeah, if our FA right now and he ach we achieve this goal, by escaping preliminary rounds, we were staying this contract with stronger mandates and asking a lot of issues we need to resolve around the national team to uh, bring it in players. How do we scout? A lot of people been talking about Mavin King, Mavin King, Mavin King. Yeah, Mavin King is playing in Africa, playing Ivory Coast. Uh, but we're not watching his league. He's a good goalkeeper, great height. If you look at age and, and, and look at the league he's been playing and look at the strikers who've been with going against us, it's, it's kind of hard to really calculate, you know, to, to calculate if he'll be ahead of Ashley William, Tommy Sango. Uh, you know, seeing is believing, right? We can see Tommy Sango in Liberia every time. We can see I know Morik, the guy from Barra, no Modric, or what is his name? I know Malik. Uh, Liberia, man, I get what kind of name, my man. But Seeing is believing, right? If you can see it, so there's something we need to do about the goalkeeping department. But we show with Nathaniel Shemo being the goal for national team, I show things will get better. And the FA just need to get in touch with uh Anthony Topa or Louis Scriton. They can they can they can give advices from long distance, they can they can have uh talk about the qualities of the goalkeepers, what are some of the things uh they need the good local goalkeepers need. Uh, we've been talking how to get Anthony Tupai and we try to get him one day. So let's go to the man Aline. Aline. Aline and Aline Niger. I let one. I let a guy who play in in, in in Morocco. The way they <laughs> come to the call it many. So they call the man Aline Niger. Aline Niger. <laughs> <laughs> See that women coming here, here, man. Look at the Ola NG, okay, NG. <laughs> but uh, we're talking about the man Alain as uh, some of the benefit Liberia can get from Alain. Uh, we bless with a lot of central male figures right now. David Tway in the Israeli top flight, uh, Seth Herbert will be playing a Swedish second, second, uh, second tie in the Super Etano uh, Eco Bracket. Uh, we got Samura playing in Cyprus. Uh, we got a man, the offensive man himself, the individual man, the man that can survive and low on the pitch, Oscar Dolly. So we blessed with a lot of passing midfielder, Justin also passing midfielder. So how can we use Allen? Uh, because you know Liberia, we really don't have a super left attack. Or Terence, Terence, Terence Tester could be uh, one of the guys that could come in and solve that problem for us from the left side. And for sometimes he's there, and sometimes the coach is not bringing him. And then other time we saw Abu Kamara playing left attack. What we need to do is, if we want to strengthen the team, build a team on energy play. Build a team around more players with 19 minutes from from that team, or playing higher minutes on that team. The coach need to consider playing Allen as a left attacker. Because if we play Allen as a left attacker, while Justin and I mean, you know, Seth Heber and Samura play in the middle right there, if one of them get tired, we can bring Allen to play in that position. So we can benefit from Allen. Allen is a left footer, so he fits in that left wing. And we get a man, Jama, or Jama, or Ariko, the Ghana Liberian man, left back. Adding offering means that whole left side is very tight, and then we look for one excellent, excellent red winger. Maybe uh, if we manage to get Mohamed Kamara back or Musa Sano and Mark Papa, it means we got our two uh, left and right side very locked with amazing energy. Musa Sano is very good with energy, Mark Papa very good offensively. Jamal left by Allen left attack it means that side is sealed and you get mad at then oscar Dodi is free right and then we can play oscar Dodi right behind the striker depending on if we go passion or fan dave but 
Allen, excellent, excellent, excellent. We need to find a way to keep him in the national team. We saw in one of the games, he was on the bench. Uh, a lot of Liberians were like, yeah, they, he always all of his rule. But if you if you watch some of the games over, you understand Allen is always compensating for all our players. So when he compensated for all our players, he will all be all our position. And he started playing on him. But can we benefit from him? We can benefit from Allen by playing defensively or left at that to increase the energy rate of the national team to increase our offensive game and to increase our defensive game. So I think it will be very, very excellent. Um Playing Allen as left attacker will not wear where his 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 speed is questionable. No, as Allen's speed is not Allen. If listen, I mean, there's a there's a way when you're a winger, when you're right or left winger, it doesn't require massive speed. It require your sense and your pace. Allen have an average speed, sense and pace, and how you want to play. If we play him as an in forward, they call something called in forward. In forward player is that a player that go all the way close to the cross to the uh, corner pole before he can make a cross? No, that in forward player when he gets the ball, his his mindset and goal target is to get go straight to the edge of the eighteen yard box. Allen can dribble excellent. He can dribble the ball. He can pass the ball. He can create defensively. He's a defensive midfielder, so defensively he's okay. Offensively, he got that ability. He blessed with that talent. We can make use of him. Playing Allen as left attacker and playing Abu Kamara as left attacker, which one, which one work best for us? Allen definitely so because he's left footer, you know. Yeah, and then we get someone to talk about Allen dribble too much with the ball. Yeah, to talk about discipline. When he coming in there, we need to give him discipline, the right instruction. So if he can follow that instruction, it means he's on the bench. Uh, it means now he need to join the queue to to compete with Seth, to compete with uh, Samora, to compete with Justin, to compete with David Twer for that defensive role. So he yeah, the guy is blessed with options, right? So if you put him there, I think he can go. And then we go back to Lone Star former captain. Someone says Sam Johnson is playing for Melbourne in Sweden. He is always willing to put in all uh, when the opportunity to represent library. Yep, he always gave his best. We hope the coach can uh, find a way to bring him one day. But I don't know where the coach stands now. So we need to look at the upcoming league to see how many games he will play and stuff like that. But I don't really talk as much about Sam Johnson, Sam Johnson, uh, he went to, to Emmanuel went into abuse me. It's crazy, you know, so I don't really have time for those kind of people, you know. Uh, we get a data here called Joel Johnson. Joel Johnson is good, but when we look at a long-term development, we'll go with, we'll go with, uh, 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 my papa, if my papa is not there, Joel Johnson is stepping number one. Joel, my papa is going to the Italian second highest league, so definitely so he will play ahead of Joel Johnson. And then you look at their offensive play, how they get the ball into the box, how they attack their offensive man and a mindset, that, that brave, that mentality. I think my papa is far ahead. Uh, Joel, we cannot play Joel number seven. We got Musa Sanon who can play there. We play Terrentis there. There we got Van Dave if we want to increase our option in scoring more goals. We got my papa that can get the ball into the box. So why are we going to put Joel Johnson in front and play number seven or zero? You can play him that. Uh, so a lot, a lot can happen. Let's go. And let's go. We we looking at uh, the man Mark Papa. Mark Papa, excellent, excellent. He set the standard. We look for a replacement for Sam. I mean Solomon Grants and Mark Papa brought in that replacement that quality so right now any other right back coming in we have to keep the, the demand at that level you need to be somewhere around mark papa quality so we need to tell coach peter butler thank you for that high and long conversation with mark papa you know peter nearly gave a one time he said i'm talking to that again tell that peter that picky, you promise you <laughs> A big trade coach Peter Butler. Thanks to coach Peter Butler too, you know. Now my man last time used to be fair with the man boy. Look at the man too, you know. So I got a praise the man too, you know. Yeah, you got a praise the man. They play well in the well too, you know. Uh, we we'll say the man said Joel can play in front of Mark. That is the position he's playing out. Yeah, he playing it, but he's uh, it's no use. Uh, 
play him. Then when we got natural right offensive player, no need to play him. They're a waste of time. So, yeah. We'll say Pacho Wea is a perfect for left winger, hoping. Yeah, until he can come. We're not talking about people who are not in the system. Until he can come. Uh, he promised all he was coming, and all of a sudden he turned the whole country down. What is that? I think we play for America. I think he's going to play for America. Even play for America, it will take a long time. The glorious home. The glorious home. The glorious Liberia. Or this glorious Liberia. I don't know what, what African player will be fighting. I said to play up here for. They play, say, why you play after the game, walking the street? Nobody get time for you. you Gotta go home and play. You know what? People will celebrate you. Yes, the man. The man, Gene Pepperson, yeah, Gene Pepperson. We're trying to, we try to do another conversation with the man, Gene Pepperson, very soon, very, 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 very soon. Playing Alliance left by Tommy Sango. And then we come to the big, 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 big man himself. It's the man, Oscar Dolly. The big man himself, massive, massive. Blessing to Liberian football, Oscar Dodd, and he brings in that James Salins Adiba, he brings in that Jojo Kocha, he brings in that Ronaldinho ideology game approach. I think with Lone Star playing Jama as left back, there's no reason on earth Oscar Dodd will play left back for Liberia again. With Seth Herbert, Allen, Samura, David Twelfth available. There's no reason Oscar Dolly can play flat as a midfielder, flat midfielder. We need Oscar Dolly in the offensive line, right beyond the two screckers <laughs> or one screcker we will play with. Because when you when you look at the Liberian national team, we find it harder getting the ball into the box and. Any team that want to score goals, any team that want to increase our chances of winning, you need to create a solid, solid supply line. You need to increase the balls you deliver in your opponent A team. When you increase the balls you deliver in your opponent A team, they will keep one of their central defenders back. That's it. Their right and left back will stay to avoid crosses. They give you the power to increase your offensive game. So if we can get Oscar Dodd, a player that can dribble two to the player, a player that is very, very smart, very, very creative, that can get a true pass, that can get that ball into the 18 yard box. Imagine Oscar Dodd getting ball into the 18 yard box and then. Mark Papa is available. He's getting ball into the 18 yard box. And any player coming from the left side, probably it could be Allen, it could be uh, uh, Terrence, to uh, Terrence Tisdale getting ball into the box. We will, we will create chances. How Peter Wilson scored. Go watch how Peter Wilson scored two goals for Liberia because of the passes. How he got the passes, guys. How he got it. They, they go vent their school in Ghana against Cape Verde. The ball came from Musa Shana to Vendiv in the box. So we need to increase our balls, our supply. We need to increase it. And how do we increase it? We need to play Oscar Dolly up front. Up front. We need to play Oscar Dolly up front. Increase the power. I think with Oscar Dolly up front, he, he brings in that feeling of James Salins and Diva. It ain't why Joshua and well now Joshua, Frank Sito, all those guys. They never used to worry about ball getting to them because J uh, James Deba, he he will manufacture something. He will manufacture something. He will cre create it. I hope, I hope, I hope that uh, we can stick with Oscar Dolly up front. Up front, uh, we get a man, but we need a team to be mixed with, with every quality player with heart. If we have it or nine players with a heart of a line and well disciplined. Yeah, that's it. That's it. The heart of the line. When it comes to national teams, about heart. You saw Korumos, right? And the Korumos, right? We saw them, right? Those guys, it's just heart. They will come for you. Saw them against Ghana. They come, they came from Ghana. They fought, 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 they fought. 
We saw them recently again against Cameroon. The play. So we can do the same. We just need players with the mentality, the winning mentality. And last time I saw journalism writing about Lone Star player painfully playing for $1,000 US. I was laughing. I said, but this journalist knows zero about football. He knows zero. Zero. Resort bring money. Not money bring resort. No. Resort. How Sarah Lee managed to give all the players land? You think why? They brought resort. Sometimes you need to put in the work as a player. We need to come together, put in the work. Why made Joshua 11 was so amazing? They did great things. People say, oh, the fat thousand, Lunsa are getting five thousand. Why James Deba in Ivory Coast when Lunsa in Mali? Keep waiting for his hip hip money that long star half when he mean five thousand when I wreck it on that on time. So money was or that the motivation of Joshua 11. It was about work, it was about getting that spot. Getting that spot. Uh, 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 what's the name? Sacring uh, players are brought Jesse for Liberia. That the heart we looking for, that mentality. We're going to go on the pitch and we're going to give you on the pitch. And that mentality starts with the coach. How the coach approach the players. How the coach define his ideology for, for, for. Okay, we got a message. There is no new announcement. But let's see. Yeah, I read it on no, but I will check it out. Check it up. Joel, Joel Johnson is not anything to find. Maybe he signed or he been on trial somewhere. I can just find it here. Yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> I know about someone in the telephone. You know, I pluck your knees. I, I gave you, I gave you one second. According Charlotte, S H A R O. Oh, let me see. Yeah, R S A L O T T. The thing is Charlotte independent. Yes, yeah, Charlotte independent. Let's see transfer. I can see depart. Mm, I can see anything about Joe. Yeah, so so let's go to squad and see. Yeah, let's see the tiny one two zero lineup. Okay, Joel Johnson career. Mm. Nothing, nothing proper about him. I should not worry myself. But yeah, shout out independent. I just check it out right now, but I can see nothing much about him. The first thing is playing on the Spanish passport, so it's hard to find on Liberian transfer market. Uh, the team is expected to welcome. The team is expected to welcome about six more players and. And well, there's a Nelson Cody, the goalkeeper, yeah. But the goalkeeper, Nelson, is not a bad goalkeeper. But if you look at his statistic, uh, it's another try and error mental. Talking about he comes with no uh, solid international experience of so playing him, it's just a room of uh, Nelson KO, yeah, Netherlands. Uh, this is his stocks right here. It's not in the team. Not in the team. He's twenty years old. Transfer. Mm, nothing. 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 So twenty years old. Which kind of experience he will bring? He never been in the second highest league. Never been in the tier highest league. Kind of experience he will bring to the national teams. Another try and error mentor. But let's see. Let bring him. Probably he can increase the competition. In the goalkeeping department, who knows what will happen? Six more players are expected to come. That's very, 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 very beautiful, right? And then we're talking about funding, loan star funding. Okay, we're talking about Lone Star funding. How do Lone Star get money? Why Lone Star need more money? Uh, the Library Football Association, we need more friendly games. We need more uh, traveling. We need to get Coach Peter on the plane. Instead of flying this Nelson goalkeeper all the way to Liberia, we could send a scout to watch him play. What level he's playing. 
That's the first thing we need to start with. Uh, okay, he played in the sixth tie in Holland. Is that competitive to Liberia? That watch 90 minutes. How many minutes he picking up every game? How many goals he conceding? That seems scarred then go to maybe Belgian. Instead of Liberian Scrack or in the Belgian second or tier league, they go there with scouting and watching and see. So we gather all of this report. Then we analyze and see why we'll bring in this guy. Since we already have in this play, why we'll bring in this play, we're not bringing this play at this time. You know, a lot of lot of discussion. So Liberia national team needs more, more, more funding. Uh, but we are blessed with amazing male feeders. We are blessed with amazing, amazing male feeders. We hope we can go forward with that and get to the Nations Cup. Because the Nations Cup, Gambia going to the Nations Cup. Seven went to the Nations Cup with seven points. I think seven or six points. What is our goal? Do we want to finish second in the group or tear? In our group or first in our group. Uh, how are we prepared if we play against strong opponent or Irish opponent? What happened is it's no, it's a different kind of preparation. But at the end of the day, we need a winning mentality. We need Lions heart, and we need the players to go out there and give up the best effort. Michael's my colleague, amazing guy, captain national team to two victories. Uh, Excellent, excellent number seven. You can take it for him. If we keep him, if he stays with the team and keep playing him, he's out there uh, in front of Mark Papa. It would be amazing, right? Mark or Mark, amazing, amazing player. Uh, very creative. But we need to understand he's Asian too, you know? Four, five years from now, we need another young player to come in and to take over for him. There's one thing that we fail to do. After the Joshua 11, that transition with never high replacement who replaced Joshua, who is the left back to replace George Gibo, who was coming in. Although we had a solution in red right back when Father Johnson left, Farmer Kutu, then we had uh, Isaiah Pedro Benson, then we had Solomon Grants, but Solomon Grant left, then the place be open, nobody. We brought Chopin Zion, we brought Joe Johnson, we brought just been changing number two, Jeremy King. Recently, he been in the national team. He up in spin. He never been having game time. They gave him one game. He lasted 30 minutes on the pitch. They gave him red card. So, we've been having problem now. God bless him with a red back. Mike Papa, all Jeremy need to do just to develop. Look at Mike Papa game. Look at his game, develop his journey, authentic game, and look at the qualities Mark Papa bring to the national team. Adapt some of those qualities, add it to his game, and keep developing it. So when Mark Papa is not there, when he come in, uh, he can have a smooth transition. Left back, no stop being without a left back for some time, right? Until we have... We took Carlos from Batanga, two trips, never played him. And we brought Jamal, we brought in some level of stability, some level of experience. The Ghana on a 20, he played in uh, Azerbaijan. It's amazing. So now we need to find a backup. So if Jamal is not there, the, le the next level I can give with that same quality. And we'll talk about central defense. It's something that we, we never talk about a lot today. Our central central defense, right? Central back. We we'll talk about central back. We we'll get a man something. Something we get Daniel. Daniel P. We we'll got Prince. Uh Brian can also play central back. That's Central defender, right? Let's be honest. Uh, some of the central backs that we, we're counting on. The, can we look in the Liberian League? Avi McConnell, we saw from Watanga, he kept me came on last minute. I think the coach played him as a captain and stuff like that. Uh, any possibility of him coming back to take those position? We don't know yet, but his addition. But if you look at uh, center back, you look at something do it, Daniel P. Prince, uh, Burns, Samura, you understand that young, young talent, something is below 23, Daniel P. below 23, Prince is about 22 or 23, Burns, Samura, 26 around, so long, long, long term, we get to develop a center back. So if we if we go into the Nations Cup qualification with eight central defenders, 
eight of them cannot be injured at the same time, right? So if two injured and one on red card, we're left with five. So we can go for the best two central defender that can take Liberia to that nation's cup. Uh, it's still open. Uh, Daniel P moved to Denmark. They've been on preseason recently. The club got a new coach. He went to. They got a new coach. The coach brought in a lot of players, new players. Uh, let's see how things work out for Daniel P out there. But he's a very, very talented, hardworking central defender. Prince playing Kosovo. They had a very good season. Uh, his team went to the Europa Conference League, but he did not play. But he did excellent, excellent, excellent for his club in Kosovo uh, in the league. So we can depend on him. Uh, late, late, something do it. We've been with LPRC others. They've been pushing, pushing, pushing. They started the league very poor. Now they started to pick up win, victory. Uh, we expect him to join Swedish second tag club, Oribro SK. Uh, or we brought to the fire the coach, you brought in new coach, they have a new president, all kind of things going on over there. So it's a little bit confusing, but until the water can settle down, then we'll know all the people are swimming naked. <laughs> <laughs> of course, you can see when the water set, you know, everybody has swimming naked. But in the center back, we stay blessed. We can boast of uh, Daniels in Europe, Princess in Europe, Spring Samurai in Europe. So if, if something do it, Jones them in Europe. It's a big, 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 big boost. What happens if we can identify uh, another good left back? It means uh, Jama can go central defense left back too. So possibility, right? Uh, if one of the guys they are not there, maybe we can play Burn Samora with Samson Duel, Daniel P, or Prince, or then Allen come into that defensive setting with set head right or something. One of the great players that we a lot of people we admire him for a few minutes on the pitch is the man Justin. Justin and uh, part the provenance we want to see Justin full 90 minutes how he adapt how long it would take him to adapt to full 90 minutes you know we gotta see it we gotta see how he adapt to full 90 minutes African football uh, I think the coach right now we, we need to go back to to to, to David 12 David 12 excellent game in Belarus you want to 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 uh Israel, he first game play 83 minutes. They're going to he play 53 or 57 minutes. Uh, uh, he's playing at a higher level. And if he's consistent, I show the coach who want to go with him, then Justin and keep Justin as a back up. Uh, but Justin is an amazing player. Let's see what the Swedish season will bring for Justin. Um, so big, 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 big development. The man, uh, Seth Herbert, he had a lot of offers to go to Young Shopping. Uh, young shopping Sodrak is another good Swedish club, has in Bori, but then he extended his contract with, with Eco Bracket, so that's good for for Liberia and for him. Uh, more stability, more game time for him in the Swedish second league. As uh, I mean, Sanjo Diven have very good access to the team if he has good ID, ready to could be used for this. Yes, yes, that's a man. Okay, currently Brent Samora team is facing relegation. Yeah, the team is facing relegation. Let's go to the man. Since Tia Dennis dropped form, we have lost stability in central back. Jama Areco can play the left side of central defense, and he is left footer player. And Oscar Dodi play left back. Yeah, but we stay. That's good suggestion. That's the most important thing over there is that we are looking for more and more and more and more qualities and more players available with great qualities that when it comes to join the team if we are lacking certain department then those players can compensate in various department uh there's somebody talk about adolfo marshall adolfo marshall to the reason why one of the reasons why adolfo is not really in the national team uh, is that he told the people he do not want to play left back he's not a left back he do not want to play left back. He do not want to play left back. He had a conversation with Thomas Kujo. You know, Thomas Kujo didn't work with the national team before. He had a conversation with people in the FA. Definitely so that message has been passed over to Coach Butler. And, and when you don't want to play in that position, it's be hard for them to call you. That's why you see one of the reasons he been out of the national team. You remember David 12 out of the national team recently uh, because he felt the coach 
did not believe in him or do. I never heard it from him, but we heard it from around from people close to his in your circles and stuff like that. So I definitely imagine he's great. I saw in that he scored from the corner kick in Mota recently. That's amazing. But we do not know if the coach want to bring him as a central defender or he'll be willing to come back to play as a left back. Uh, you saw Sininga when Sininga went to the walk when the beat France, they play a left back that is a right foot guy. It's called Daf. Daf, he's a right foot player. Uh, another player used to play for Ghana. Uh, right, left, he used to play left back. He's right foot player. So if we can find an excellent right foot player that can adapt in that position, it means we, we, we will get another central defender with Jamal Arigos, right? So Liberia, the national team is getting better and better. And someone talk about Prince Bay and something do a cover that department. Yes, two of them, but we're talking about in case one of them is not available due to record, due to injury, what happened, who are going to step in. All we need to prepare for the uncertainty, right? In football, you don't just depend on <coughs> on, on on one player. Uh, their central defender should not be less than six foot. And <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about American Prince Tor being here by American Prince when I'm playing. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, but it's something amazing. We need to talk more about the national team. We've gone 55 minutes. We'll be here for the next five minutes. I try to do it one hour to the pot. Guys, if you can do me one thing, just share the video. You know, that's all we can do, right? Just share. I really don't like people asking people to share. I really don't like asking, can you share? Can you share? No. Uh, but sometimes if we're not seeing the stacks, so let's see. Let me look at my phone here to know how many shares we hit today. Uh, because that is the only thing we you can do for this platform and see. Due to record, due to yeah so let's see what's happening right here uh, guys we got four how can we make it you guys may need to do something you know hit the like share button let's go so we talk today we talk about we need goalkeepers we had we blessed we had not time to share yeah those are you guys are missing that time shame was yeah he threw a little bit of light on the goalkeeper department the national team um uh, talk about justin talk about the central defenders we talk about playing allen possibility of playing allen as left left winger to increase the offensive power of the national team since set set can play the same defensive role uh, samura can play the same defensive role allen can play defensive role and he can be offensive manner uh so we can go you cannot play set as a right attacker you cannot play set help as a left attacker you can play uh, Samura as a right attack or a left attack, or, but you can play Allen as left attack or you can play him as defensive midfielder. So he brings option to the national team. Uh, we talk about the man. Um, we talk about the man. Uh, was we talk about Mark Papa, that offensive player. We talk about how we can benefit for him, and we talk about the man. Oscar Dolly, Oscar Dolly, as you all know, Oscar Dolly is one of the creative players in the national team, and we hope uh, Lone Star can work around. Some of the players are Liberia still need to bring in the national team. They probably need, they still need Sam Johnson. You can take it from him, although I don't like to talk about his business anymore. Uh, we can bring in, we still need to resolve the situation with Mohamed Kamara and the national team. Uh, we need him he's available we need him we need him to to increase the firing power of the national team something we need to fix uh, we need to work with coach peter we need to work with the fa we need to work with the ministry of youth and sports other people around the president let us resolve this national team yes and the president spoke and the president talked about they they will still support the national team so we know the national team will try to get that the road to 2023 african cup of nations just around the corner can Liberia get to the African Cup of Nations? It is possible we can get to the African Cup of Nations, but we need early preparation and we need, uh, let's see. Somebody say the mega play today. Uh, somebody said, did you put what happened in the case of players with Lone Star, the Liberia League, the player like the Williams brother from? Yeah, if they want to show up to play for Liberia, 
Pira, if they want to show up to play for Liberia, peace and love on that. And they can come to play for Liberia. But I'm more focused on the players that are available if they want to come to play. I think some of them waiting on Spain to play. Mm, really hard. But then, okay, somebody said DJ Sporting. Please check the shares. Yeah. Uh, I'm looking at my phone, bro. It's just my phone. I've been looking. I've been looking at it on my phone. Yeah, I think it's more but I, I will look at it later on, bro. You know, you know, we don't really worry about how many people hit this thing, you know. And then we go say, my man, what ever happened between you and saying let it go? We talking like, yeah, yeah, no, but nah, nah. Okay, not people. We don't really discuss the man in details, you know. We don't really discuss his game because nothing really been happening until he can start playing the game. Then we can talk more about him, about his game. And uh, if we look at this, if we look at the games coming up for a librarian player this weekend, let me just run you through some of the games coming up. Uh, tomorrow in it will be the Abinia Cup. Then this club will be in the Abinia Cup, it will be away tomorrow. And then we need this in. in 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 spin where uh germany is and uh they would be they would be a way tomorrow as well and on thursday will be a club friendly club friendly uh it would be yeah club club friendly club no on friday it's a club friendly and our man daniel p made play against mamu ff on Friday, <laughs> it would be a big, big game for the man, Daniel, Daniel P. Tell the coach to call me. I'm available in a time. I'm at the free time ball. Coach. <laughs> for you, coach, be telling me, and then we got uh, Brent Samura. They would be. They will be active tomorrow. So, the Brian Samara team is in relegation soon. Yes, they are on 13 points on 16 games. Uh, second on the table. Hmm, yeah, they need to double up. They need to win. Even Peter Wilson team is there from bottom. Peter Wilson gone 17 games, one goal. Not encouraging, not encouraging. And then Alain, Alain, they return to football on Friday. It uh, will be 17. 7 15 librarian time Allen will be in action in switzerland as you all know Allen team is second on the switzerland challenge table the second league table the second with 31 points from 18 games uh, Allen he recently scored in their friendly game so amazing amazing weekend coming up for librarian players uh then on saturday all the way in in thailand will be the man tiku uh tigna tigna and 4 p.m. Liberian time, it will be David 12. They will be taking on Hampo Tava in, in Israel. You know, David 12 club, they're trying to escape relegation, uh, but it's not easy on them. They are second from bottom on the 14 teams table with 14 points for 19 19. Again, someone sent a long suggestion. If Lonsai get a favorite draw in next draw with the early preparation and the right debut in the qualifier, when home, when every home games that starts immediately to do with everything to get SKD to the standard required by FIFA and FIFA, we cannot be playing home games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even the coach complained about that. It's difficult to play your home games in another country and win. So the biggest question is, will Liberia get SKD ready before the qualifiers? I would, I will try to check on the qualifiers today and um, to see how best SKD, uh, how far SKD will be. Uh, uh, I mean, how the preparation gone? Because uh, I spoke to the minister the other day on the show here. He talked about SKD. Bucket seed will be completed very soon. And we expect at the future tough before counting it. But then we do not know if at the future tough would be available before our African Cup of Nations qualifier. And the banners for the FIFA games but we do not know if calf we allow or play whom or as then we need to start finding alternative to say baby we can play in several we can play in guinea we can play in our coast or i think the best play we could play we could play in guinea or in several if several is allowed to play home ground 
or we can go back to Morocco because the FA has some kind of level partnership with Morocco and uh, Saudi Arabia. Maybe Liberia can play some games in Saudi Arabia, friendly games in Saudi Arabia. Uh, we could play some of those countries around Saudi Arabia on the test game. Get a long start out there. No honor to on the TV <laughs> again. Go directly and play some countries friend again in Saudi Arabia to boost the national team. Get some of these goalkeepers that will say they won't play for Liberia. They may going to say, I won't play, I won't play many. Yeah, you know, I won't play, I won't play many. I'm going to get some of them. But peace and love for my end, guys. Thanks for being there. Thanks for the support. I will be going, but uh, probably later on tonight. Later on tonight, because I'm free the entire day today. Uh, later on tonight, we'll talk about using sports. To help the Zogos in Liberia. Okay, so I'm trapped in stretching and stressing this topic. Uh, I was on the phone call with some people yesterday from Liberia. They called me and then was talking about how we can try to enlighten uh, Liberians on the, how sports can reduce crime. Uh, imagine all these guys who are Zogos, right? Most of them, we can really put it on the civil. They were not born during the civil war. If you look at if you look at 60 percent of the zogos now they were not born 1990 because most of the guys who are zogo now they are 25 they are 26 they are 28 although we got some 40 45 year old men but we got more young people who are zogos 18 19 so they were not born during the war what happened is that their parents got affected by the war and their parents were unable to give them the right development, the right opportunities, so they end up being Zogos. But how can we redirect their life and say about youth empowerment through sports? Through sports, the man say we can beg FIFA for Joshua to please to play sneaky role in the Nations Cup. For yeah, for Joshua, yeah, we can. We, listen, this is the thing about when you when you have power, don't negotiate on the spot. No, you need to negotiate six, seven months ahead of time. Now, if we know SKD will not be ready, it's about time we start preparing everything. Now, we start talking to Morocco, we start talking to Ghana, we start, we start arranging because we know SKD will not be ready. But if we do believe SKD will be ready and SKD will meet up with the required men for the upcoming games. Then no need to start talking. But if we know SKD will not be ready, the FA need to be honest. We got 11 months left in this year. 11 months. The African Cup of Nations is 2023. We got 11 more months left in this year. 11. 11. We want to know if we can face the grass on the pitch. The bucket seat will be ready. The electric ticket barcode machine will be ready. So we, I think I need a place. Uh, I try to. I'll try to talk to Andy Kwame about SKD, and I try to talk to some people, and uh, I'll get back to Paywala. Maybe we'll talk to Paywala Giant today, talking about the facial situation in Liberia. How the Liberia League is getting beautiful, and another thing in Liberia, a lot of female teams complaining about no money teams in the lower league. So. I would try to bring one of the presidents on or I'll try to speak to the people in the FA how this whole FIFA grant for women football working while most female team in the lower league did not turn up for games they gone time. You know, I don't really like to blame the FA. The teams, the team should be the FA responsibility. I don't believe in that ideology. Some people do believe. Some people believe uh, the FA should buy that team, just say put that team on the bus and go to play the game, pay that team. Try. I don't believe in all those things. No. If you want to play in the Liberian League, you be ready. If you do not have the money, join with other people. If you do not have, if you cannot find people to join with, play third division community team, make a team. The team is not about the level, it's about how efficient and effective your team can be. So play a team in a lower league, play a team as a community team. Let me tell you, if I in Liberia, I ain't pins with I got pins with soccer media leave, my pin when you play pins with soccer media leave, get out Jesse, right? Get out 20 football. King down, go play, we'll be all the team at the end of the season when I want no promotion. You don't want to promote, you go. 
stay in our pins, we start developing, we start saving our money. Our team is getting big. We get all the best players in the community are playing our team. We we'll stay in job football. We're we'll driving nowhere to go buy gas. <laughs> for peace and love, my MA guys. I need to go. So thanks for being there. Thanks for the share. Thanks for the support. This is the boy DJ Spooling. Uh, someone just sent in a comment. Somebody said, I mean, Liberian should talk on behalf of Joshua to FIFA so he can st stick for Liberian Indonesian school. <laughs> I mean, I better make it SP yesterday. It make it SP. Hey, yeah, what it man say? It make it SP yesterday, my brother. But peace and love, my MN guys. Thanks for the support. Thanks for the love. Thanks for being here. Bye bye, everybody.